With the nationwide cleanup campaign set to take place on May 25th, we would like to take a closer look at what the private sector is doing and how they will be preparing for the event. With me in studio is Kondwana's brand director, Manny Goldbeck, along with our environmental officer, Quentin Hartung, to talk to us about It's Up To Us. Let's first start off with what is It's Up To Us? Manny, would you like to start? Well, it was an idea which we had a few months ago when we visited a wedding and after the wedding there was a photo shoot and it was in a, in a very beautiful uh, Oshana. It was a dry tree and, and it was unspoiled um, environment. After the photo shoot you saw a lot of bottles and plastic bags lying around. Mm. And that is that time that, that I spoke to my colleagues and said uh, we must do something. We must, we must get a movement going. Then to our mind came this movement of a hashtag uh, Me Too, which was so successful, which changed the world and the mindset of people. And we said that is something we must do in Namibia concerning our environmental issues. And this is where that um, hashtag It's Up To Us was born. Mm. But it's not, a, it's not a hashtag which is owned by, by Gondwana. We want to have it being a national movement that we have to bring a change to environment. But I think also it's a worldwide thing coming now that people realize that our environment is in, in a crisis. If you look at the plastic use and, and the mm -hmm. pollution of plastic, we welcome now the idea of a president calling for a national cleanup day. Mm -hmm. But just a cleanup is not enough. We need um, a mindset shift because it must be sustainable. Mm -hmm. Just cleaning up one day is not a guy. And that is what Gondwana wants to achieve. It's, it's, it's up to us that it's more sustainable, that we get more people involved. Growing up, especially in high school, we would always have these mini cleanup campaigns within our own classroom. So it was shocking for me to learn that we dropped from our number one spot of being the cleanest city in Africa. How will Gondwana Collection be doing this? We are trying to move away from uh, the use of one-use plastics at, at our lodges. Together with that, we also have sourced various biodegradable alternatives. Obviously, with the biodegradable products, we can more easily dispose of them. We are also working very closely with the Drum. And this, we are trying to move all of our waste to their waste management facilities to recycle as much as we can. And the eventual plan is to uh, have Gondwana be a zero-to-landfill organization. What do you think of the nationwide cleanup campaign? I think it's a great initiative and we should applaud the president for committing to, to the day. I think all Namibians should support them. We as Gondwana will certainly support the uh, president uh, on that day and beyond today. But I think the day is symbolic in, in creating a change in, in the mindset and, uh, and it will be especially powerful with the, the hashtag it's up to us movement that we are trying to drive. On the day our various lodges in the different regions will be uh, conducting their own cleanups. Now considering that the hashtag movement is about a mindset change, it's safe to assume that we would like this, it's up to us to have the same effect on the Namibian people. What would you suggest that Namibians do in general to create a movement with it's up to us and not just let it be a one day campaign? It's a change in mindset. And I think by, by using the three R's, you know, it's reduce, uh, recycle and reuse. From our side, the, the first step we're doing in our office now on, on the 24th and 25th is that we hand our bags here and with a sign on, it's, it's up to us. And encourage um, our staff when they do their shoppings, never to use plastic bags again. And that, of course, gives a lot of opportunities for people to, to make a living. And I'd like to hand this one over to you, Odil, as an influencer and get other influencers involved. It's up to you, it's up to me, and no matter how small the change, it's up to us.